let's do a couple. What is the probability that a person has is male given they've never married? So I'm just going to show you. That's not the same thing. So this, now my reduced sample space is going to be based on this guy. So my reduced sample space is going to be all the not married people or never married. And that is going to be this row right here. This is my reduced sample space for never married. Of those, how many are male? 45. So now the probability of being male given I'm never married is going to be the 45 divided by the total of never married, which is 85. never married these are there was this was this will be the 85 people that never married in my survey okay here's a question are the events single divorced and female independent right so how would i know that what i just told you here they're if they're going to be independent if the probability of being divorced is equal to the probability of being divorced given their, that they're female, or I'd only have to check one of these. If one's true, the other one is. Or the probability of being female is equal to the probability of female given divorce. All right, so I'm gonna work on this one. So what's, let's find, what, the, what is the probability of divorced? So I look, divorced is this row. There's 23 divorced people total out of 276 total. And this is equal to 0 0.0833. It's actually like goes on forever. Oh, that's this. Sorry. <laughs> The probability of divorce given female. All right, so now I'm going to limit myself. This guy. So now I'm only my reduced sample space are all the females. So I'm only going to look at the females, which is going to be that second column. All right, I've got 144 females, and how many of those are divorced? 12. So 12 out of 144. This is going to be the number that are divorced and female, which was the 12 people. So that's 1 12th. And this is also 0 0.80833. So this is true. So the answer is yes. Are they independent? Yes. Why? Because this is true. Because the probability of being divorced is equal to the probability divorce given female. So basically, this 0.0833, a twelfth of all people. So here we got you know around eight percent. So eight percent of all people divorced. And down here, I have eight percent of females are divorced. And there's only one other category, and it's also, we would also would find that 8% of males are divorced. So basically, if you said, you know, what percentage are divorced, it wouldn't matter whether the person was male or female or not. It's 8% all the way across, all right? So for females, 8%, for all, 8%. So letting me know if you're female or not is not going to affect that probability. That's what makes it independent.